With our production here, we would do indoor versus outdoor. People are going to want to be able to bring guests into their home, entertain them, and one of the first things they decide on is what fire to have in their home. And usually it's a warm and turn their stainless piece in their home. So one unique point with Fires by Design is that we solely sell Warmington fires. It would be 50-50 people coming in to replace an existing old wood fire that needs replacing, and then 50% people building new or renovating. So when architects and clients want something a bit more unique or bespoke for them, we do have the ability to you know, make exactly what they want. Uh, so the business was originally established, my father-in-law, Trevor Fife, who used to build heaters, had his family build heaters for many years. He established it and he, he built the first one as a development for his own home. He was renovating his home. Some of his friends thought it was a pretty pretty cool looking idea and uh, he made a few for them. Then he built a few more. He asked if I was interested in having a look at it, which I did. That was 30 years ago, 1993. When I took it over from my father-in-law, we had two products, two basic products. Now we have around about 600 different standard products that we can manufacture and build anything in between any bespoke product that we, we want it. In terms of our volumes, we've grown 20% of our employees in manufacturing spaces. We've got 16 employees. In the fires design, we've got four employees. Looking after our customers, our customers are really high end. Um, they expect a certain amount of service and making sure that we're managing the process from just initial consultation with the customer through to the full install and making sure that they're happy with what they've got and all market aftermarket support that we do. All our products and materials are sourced here in New Zealand. They're designed and manufactured right here in the building. So our factory is based on just-in-time manufacturing which allows us to keep our stock holding to a minimum and keeps us more efficient. We can change with, with time uh, very quickly with what the, the audience is wanting, what our target audience is chasing, fashions, the likes so we can keep up, keep up with what the trends are in the field. And just in time manufacturing, the cycle time for a build through this place would be about seven hours. So you put a product in, it will pop out the other end at seven hours. A lot of the machinery we have here, we've built ourselves over the last, last 30 years. Once the products are made, we move into the assembly area. Each product's individual, so the guys know which parts they've got. They've got a selection of materials that come with it. They'll start assembly, putting it together, moving through the process, signing it off as they do it. I really enjoy working with the team we have here. The fact that we're New Zealand made, it gives me a lot of sense of pride when we're talking to prospective clients and customers. When New Zealand is building for New Zealand is a New Zealand building envelope. We feel that we can move and change and meet the, the client's needs and the market needs as new products move in and out of fashion. We can follow that very quickly. We see the fires being made from a sheet of steel all the way through to being painted and boxed up and installed in someone's home. That gives us all a great sense of pride and enjoyment for us.